Anyone who runs a business knows about change management, but I want to talk about something a little different, stability management. There are plenty of times when companies need to change. I mean, no company prospers by standing still. The question is when change gets out of whack, when it's too much and it makes it hard for people to do their jobs, but also when you actually think about where people are best positioned to innovate or create or contribute in some way. It's when they are not thinking about where they will land in the next reorg and what the next change of strategy is and what the next team will be and what their next leader is. So what is stability management? Unlike change management, which focuses on what isn't working, stability management concerns itself with what is working. It emphasizes attention focuses on local teams and communicates reality. Teams are the source of much stability. They thrive when individuals understand their roles, support each other, and connect with the organization's mission. Stability management also focuses on what remains constant, like honoring team rituals, which serve as emotional governors. And leaders play a key role in stability management too. They ensure team leaders understand their stability-enhancing role, keep teams intact, and promote stability through clear communication. In a world of constant change, the key to success isn't as much disruption or managing change, but rather helping people offer their best. Go to hbr.org for a deeper dive.